Hey there, good morning. It's Tuesday, and for anyone who's sick of seeing Gus, just don't watch the rest of the video. Uh, but what I can tell you is the powers that be in the Berkshires decided it was National Gus and Kate Day, and we don't have to go to school, even though it's also <laughs> National Write an Essay Day, so I'm sure teachers are a little upset that kids won't be in their seats writing essays. But I'm not upset that we've declared it a holiday for Gus because I'm gonna help uh, load the horse trailer with some stuff. Gus is gonna do snow things while we load, I bet. And it's just gonna be as good a sad day as it can be. Uh, so yeah, it's the last day Gus uh, slept in his garage apartment at the Little Red Cottage. And they're gonna start their adventure. And he's already zooming around, loving snow. Right, Gus? Oh yeah. <laughs> Um, history quiz on uh, what year is the very last uh, uh, show for MASH? And for a bonus, can you name what percentage of TV viewers watched the two and a half hour finale? Uh, it's also National Sleep in Public Day. I don't think there'll be any sleeping at this house today. Lots of exciting things happening. Um, so the answer to the quiz is... Uh, 1983, after 11 years, MASH uh, concluded its epic run with 77% of uh, total TV viewers watching the two and a half hour finale. I watched it with my family. I totally remember it. It was a big deal. Right, Gus? Some things are a big deal. <laughs> uh, today's weather. Hey, look, they said one to three inches and that's what we got. Today's weather kind of chilly. Uh, and maybe some snow, but I don't think amounting to anything. So you know what I say, get outside, do something fun, maybe hang out with a puppy or sleep in public or write an essay. <laughs> We're out from the little red cottage and Kate is 